You might have heard the news already, the metaverse is coming and you need to be ready. So watch this video or run, 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 run. Because after today, things will never be the same. Guys, welcome to the House of Clay podcast. Today we're going to be talking about the metaverse and how you can be prepared for it. Will it replace real life? Will it change everything forever? And the simple answer is uh, yes, it's going to do both. <laughs> but uh, don't be afraid, don't be alarmed. Today we're going to be talking about the metaverse and how you can use it to enhance your human experience. It's a $30 trillion industry in the next 15 years, so that's that might be some something you might care about too. I'm your host, Digital Jeff, and today we're going to be diving into everything about the metaverse, uh, from education to concerts to how we socialize, how we're going to use headsets or any type of physical device to connect to the metaverse and immerse ourselves fully. First of all, might you might be thinking, this is a this is a fad. This is not gonna happen. Who's gonna want to wear a headset? This well, you you're probably right. Who's gonna want to wear a headset? And I think the majority of people don't even own a headset at this point. But in the same token, technology is evolving. There's a lot of leaders now in the space. I think we can all agree that Meta, which used to be known as Facebook, might know something that we don't know. They completely rebranded their entire company. They're working to bring the metaverse to billions of people in the next uh, couple of years. It's actually happening right now. Microsoft also is a big player in the space. Microsoft actually acquired a company, Activision Blizzard, which is, you know, the creators of Call of Duty and all these other video games for $70 billion. It happened earlier this year. So all these companies that are all these big players in the space, I think Apple announced a headset as well. They know something. They know something that we don't. So first of all, let's pretend that the metaverse is here to stay. Let's pretend this, this is not a fad. The first thing that I think about is the majority of us put more value on our digital lives than on our physical lives. And what does that mean? I think the majority of us, we can agree and don't lie, be honest here. We can all agree that our digital lives are very valuable to us. We care a lot about the way we are seen on social media, the way we are, we are seen online. There's this concept of the great online game, right? Where we, anything that you uh, type or you click on or you uh, repost or share online creates a, either an opportunity or there's a feedback that comes to you. And this through that, you're able to create more interactions, meet more people, maybe change a career. Uh, more opportunities might come to you because you're playing this great online game. And we've seen films like, you haven't seen Ready Player One, I invite you to see it, but I've, I personally have seen these films. And these films have uh, giving us a glimpse into how we're going to be using the metaverse in the future. Now, the the instant, um, I think the first thing that we rebuttal is like, is it going to replace real life? Nobody wants to wear a headset, correct? Yeah, but the, the technology is actually working into making it to where you don't, you can't distinguish between being inside a headset or whatever technology you're using. And you can't distinguish physical life, real life into your digital life. You kind of tend to forget. And if you've never put on a headset before, I invite you to try it out. You know, you've seen those people playing those zombie video games where they completely freak out and they forget they're not actually getting attacked. The top companies in the world are working towards building the right technology to make it as immersive as real life. So I, I truly believe that's going to happen. And to make you feel a little bit better about this idea because it could be daunting it could be scary just think about the billions of people that will benefit through education you know education is something huge back when uh, i was i was a teacher for about five years uh, one of the main things one of the main problems that we had is that after the year like 93 94 the invention of like uh where you can calculate grades through um through a grade book uh, teachers hadn't been able to use technology to fully help them become better teachers, better educators. I used to always think about like, why has it, why is there so many limited resources for educators? And it's because it's hard to replace physical interactions. So for every teacher right now, the there's about 30 students uh, on average across America. And that number is slowly growing. There's less and less teachers, more and more, more and more students. I remember being uh, in a class of 35 to 40 um, when I was teaching. And it's hard to teach so many students at one time. 
Uh, I think this concept is called digital Aristotle. The same way Aristotle would uh, learn through Plato, uh, Alexander the Great. It was a one-on-one -on -one experience for many, many years together. So there's a lot of opportunity that come into education. And this gives me a quick segue to today's sponsor of this episode. The Dubai Metaverse Assembly um, is hosting a global event that's bringing together regional and international experts in Dubai to shape the future of the metaverse and explore its promise and potential applications. This event will be hosted in Dubai, but you can actually join virtually. Yes, you can join virtually. Uh, there will be speakers from Meta, from Binance, uh, Sandbox, Decentraland, uh, Bidu, uh, Mastercard, you know, talking about everything from e-commerce to education, obviously gaming, art, medicine, virtual education, as we spoke, and of course, NFTs. I invite you to join. There's a link down below. There's also a link in my bio if you're watching this on Instagram. Go check out this event. It's going to be a one of a lifetime type of event. and It'll actually prepare you for the next three to five years so you can be ahead of the curve. I'm super excited. I'm personally going to be there and uh, hope you join virtually as well. So the Dubai Metaverse Assembly says we are building the metaverse to be something that billions can benefit from. So this is exciting just because there's so much untapped uh, resources when it comes to sharing information. There's a concept of uh, radical openness, this free form exchange of ideas in where two or more people can interact at the same moment at different parts of the world. And I think open, radical openness will be something that will be uh, enhanced through the metaverse uh, in these next coming years. So anybody will be able to get properly educated in anything they want to learn. But we can also scale interactions. Think about being able to go to different concerts, uh, travel to different places around the world, uh, be able to experience other cultures and uh, meet other people, you know. And the, the funny part is like, when you go in the metaverse, you can, you can technically have your own uh, digital avatar as you wish, which is the funny part because um, some people rather be seen different. You know, they don't want to be seen as the way they look in real life. They don't want to be seen. Uh, they want to, so you can be anything you want inside the metaverse. Do you need a headset to be participating in the metaverse? And the short answer is no. But eventually, if you want to have the full immersive experience, I invite you to get a headset. There's different headsets being built by different companies. I know Apple's coming out with one later this year. Uh, obviously, Meta, they dropped a... I don't know if it was a hoax video or not, but there was somebody that found a meta headset inside uh, a hotel room supposedly one of the engineers left a meta headset inside a hotel room forgot it there and then somebody else that checked in was able to find it i would invite you to just look into it get yourself one for christmas maybe and uh, start experimenting learning how to use the metaverse um, there's going to be a lot of opportunities for people that are into e-commerce if you're into gaming if you're into art or you're just simply into digital assets. We saw Nike acquire Artifact earlier this year. Artifact is a collaboration of like 70 different digital artists that are creating 3D um, fashion from shoes to clothing inside the metaverse. So let's say you have a digital avatar, right? You can dress it up with specific digital items like a hoodie, a hat, glasses, shoes that are unique to what you like, to your preferences. And now it creates a digital economy, which is what I'm excited about. There's, there's this whole digital creator economy sector that I'm going to make it, be making a full video on. But just to give you guys an insight of what's going on right now, the way we monetize as creators right now is through either a third party uh, sponsorship or you can monetize views through either YouTube or Instagram. I think the metaverse uh, or it's more specifically this digital economy crypto will allow us to be able to monetize differently and directly to with our fans uh, or directly through collectors. Let me give you guys six, some examples so you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. So when it comes to gaming, right? If you're a gamer right now, the only way you can monetize as a gamer is you got to be somebody with a lot of followers, get a lot of Twitch subscribers. Uh, then you get some brand deals, et cetera, et cetera. And then you start building your empire, right? So out of like, let's say millions of gamers, there's only like one or two gamers that I can actually monetize. And then the rest, what happens with the rest? But what's happened, and you might, you might have heard of Axie Infinity. Axie Infinity was the first play to earn game that actually allowed for users to generate revenue through just playing the video game. Now, what happened there is, um, I'm not gonna get into the, the details of Axie Infinity, but they were, they kind of um, allowed 
many people to make money, but then there was a few problems with the, the way the game was structured. Anyways, but that allowed for a whole array of companies to start building play to earn games, which are coming very, very soon. I'm actually doing a full document documentary on Docs uh, season one. Make sure you check it out. If you haven't subscribed to Docs, make sure you click on I'm going to put the link down below. Watch episode one and the upcoming episodes. I'm going to be talking about a play to earn opportunity, uh, which I think will, will change the way gamers generate revenue in the future. So imagine being able to show up or go to a specific space where you game and you're actually, that's your career. That's what you do for a living. Uh, so that'll be something that's coming soon for uh, musicians that are artists. You can drop a collection of NFTs as um, songs. And as you grow as an artist, let's say you have like uh, a new song every week, you drop it on as an NFT. You do like a, a, maybe like 25, maybe 10 to 25 different collectibles of that one song. And then people can collect that now. And as you grow as an artist, as a musician, those digital assets that you drop because they're so scarce now become more and more valuable. So there's all these different ways you can monetize as an artist that weren't available um, even a few months ago uh, or a year ago. So there's all these platforms that are coming out. I think sound.xyz is one of the main platforms for uh, musicians to drop your nfts so yeah be in the lookout that's something exciting if you're a digital artist you can uh, simply upload your digital artwork have a limited supply on OpenSea, and then collectors can now collect a part of your scarce token as a digital art form in, in nft and if you don't know much about nfts yet i invite you to check them out i'm also working personally as a filmmaker i'm also working on this new form of creating a book when people think about a library, right, it's a it's a, a shelf full of books, right? When I think about the blockchain, it's a shelf full of NFT collections. I'm in, in a certain way trying to reinvent what the book looks like. When people think about a book, something that sits on the shelf. When I think about a, the, the, the future of books, it's a NFT collection that sits on the blockchain and tells a story. So. As a filmmaker, I'm finding ways to create these NFT collections that will not only help me create the films that I want to create, but also create revenue for my business and uh, where fans could be part of it from day one. Uh, there's all these, uh, for example, there's MV3, which I talk about in episode one of Docs. I invite you to check out that episode. What they're doing is some is never been done before. They're creating something where as a token holder, you have a direct upside on the IP of MB3. So for example, imagine being able to own like the first ever Darth Vader character and how much revenue you would have generated if you would have held that character from day one or the first ever Spider-Man as an NFT. Imagine being able to have that opportunity. So these next, like the next Marvel will come from an NFT collection. So what I'm doing, that's a little bit, it's very similar in the sense, it's a little bit different, but with Docs, I'm doing something similar where we'll, I'm gonna have a collection at the end of the season where you'll be able to collect digital assets that I will, that kind of tell the story of season one. So I'm excited about that. That's kind of like what I'll, what I'll leave you guys with, but there's so much happening with the metaverse. Again, the Dubai Metaverse Assembly, something you guys can watch, tap in uh, into tomorrow, 28th, September 28th and 29th, a two day event. You can tap in live virtually, listen to all these different speakers from all these top companies and the leaders in the space and see what's really going on. I mean, I I'm myself, I'm a student. I'm learning uh, every day and I'm excited to be there uh, at the Dubai Metaverse Assembly. This is the first ever, ever, ever Metaverse event that's happening in Dubai. Looking forward to connecting with all of you inside the Metaverse. Again, I left the link down below if you want to join tomorrow at the Dubai Metaverse Assembly. Also le left the link down below if you want to watch season one of Docs. Episode one is now out. Episode two is coming really, really soon. And anything that's uh, Web3 related, we're going to be talking about it here in the podcast. Send me your questions. Looking forward to talking more and more about this. Until next time, this is your boy, Digital Jeff. Remember, never stop, keep creating, and always believe in yourself. Yeah.